Hi, it's Crystal and happy Sunday to everybody. Today um, we are reviewing the Yummy Pouch. Um, we received this particular pattern at a reduced rate in exchange for our honest review. So thoughts and opinions in this video are our own. And um, we've actually been using Yummy Pouches for a few years now. So um, what's wonderful is we make our own um, applesauce, we make a lot of our own baby foods. Um, so this is the front of the Yummy Pouch, very attractive, um, appeals to children. This is a spout you've probably seen, it's exactly like the, um, the squeezy pouches for baby food or kids snacks that you'll see at their grocery store. Um, these caps are a nice size. I don't feel like they pose a choking hazard for little ones. You still I mean, wouldn't want to give it to a small child to play with. So um, we'll just set that aside for now. So the opening at the top of the yummy pouch is nice size. Um, so you could take a spoon and spoon your, your food into the pouch. Um, when you do fill it, you'll have the cover on. So this is a Ziploc type. Um, I suppose that's probably um, not the correct wording, but it's um, it's very thick plastic material. You can kind of hear how sturdy it is. Um, so you open it up nice and big, spoon in your homemade applesauce to the fill line which is right here, just a little bit below um, the spout that you would use to empty it. So you're gonna have this like this, fill it to that fill line, close it up, and away you go. So it's reusable, refillable, um, great for on-the-go snacks. It is dishwasher and freezer safe, um, BPA-free, Hold six ounces and microwaving is not recommended which is really nice though because it says it right on the back so if you have a caregiver or grandma or somebody over and they're like oh can I put this in the microwave because maybe you've frozen some baby food um, you just um, thaw it in some warm water not hot just warm water give it some time and um, fantastic the other thing I really like about these is there's a spot on the back for the date and the contents so if you do a lot of yummy pouches um, and maybe they don't all have applesauce in some have applesauce some have some peas you wouldn't want to send um, peas um, pureed peas to school with your third grader mm, they probably wouldn't be very happy with you um, but the, well, the one thing I do recommend is if you are going to be using the labeling system, which I recommend, um, label it before you fill it. Because once it's got stuff in it, um, it's not quite as easy to write on, which makes it not quite as easy to read. And sometimes um, the moisture um, and things, will, the writing won't stay on quite as well. So then before you throw it in the dishwasher, just go ahead and take a rag. We use Norwex rags, but just any rag and water will get the previous contents and the date right off of there. And um, when we wash ours, we always, you know, take the cap off and we put that in with the nipples from the baby bottles. You want to open it up real big again. Rinse it out. Um, and then we just put it on the top rack of the dishwasher, just like this on top of one of the little prongy things and away you go so that is our review of the yummy pouch we love these for on-the-go snacks homemade baby food and purees fantastic so five stars um, if you're making your own stuff go ahead and get these um, another nice thing even if you don't like make your own applesauce there's a huge cost savings um, if you buy you know the big jar of applesauce in the grocery store and put it in here versus buying the prepackaged stuff um, you know first of all there's not as much going into the landfill because those um, those containers from the applesauce are usually glass and you can reuse those for something fun